Welcome to day one of stacking the walls. Um, it was a lot of days of working on stacking walls uh, and it was a lot of content that I've compressed into this video for you. Um, I thought it'd kind of be more like stacking Legos where you come in and just stack and you just find the one that fits and put it there and keep going. But between scare squaring the building and um, making sure everything is just right, it takes a while. Um, you can see Graham and Atticus. Atticus was sweeping there. Graham was stripping forms from the core of the footing. So much help they are. And sometimes you can also see all these wasps. They were just so interested in that GoPro up on its stand. So not much I can do about the wasps. Um, yeah, I wish I knew what people wanted to know. I, in the future, I, I think I'll do some videos of close-up, kind of how I cut it and, and how I put it together, but there is that content out there on the internet already. I'm not trying so much to do a how-to video here, but I hope there is some valuable information for people that want to do this kind of stuff on their own. Um, seeing the process and be happy to answer questions in the in the comments, of course. A little jump there. I think we went to eat and also it was really hot, so I went to let the boys swim in the lake for a, minute, for a little while. It's like 98 degrees this day. Can you say, oh yeah, again? Oh yeah! <laughs> I could even do it. Did you know when I was in Alaska, whenever something good would happen, I'd say that? Yeah. Because of you? <laughs> yeah. Don't put your teeth on that, it'll break them. You don't want to bite hard stuff with your teeth. Yeah. This is the afternoon of day two. Um, I had help this day besides my kids. Um, so grateful for the help that I've had from friends. Um, it's really, it's great working with my boys, but I haven't overcome the, I think the fact that they 
they they don't hate being there and they don't hate working with me but it's not like they're eager to figure it out and be independent they're kind of accepting that their their role is sort of a gopher or secondary where when, sometimes when i get a other help they're they're there to be more than that and so i need to figure out how i can do that same thing for my boys get them to there but anyway we i think if i would have done this before we would have gotten further every day but there's a steep learning curve and I'm, i am happy with how it went on yesterday we got a half day today's our first full day we've got four layers stacked we're just cleaning up making sure nothing's gonna blow away because it's Sunday tomorrow and we're not coming to work I got my window bucks kind of in the location where they go it's our garage door um, kind of tired. It was a hot day, huh? I'm trying to make some jokes, but all I can think of is paradoxes. We got paradox. All of this glued down like, and straight, um, and all the walls square. Of, all I can think about is paradoxes. And Anyway, we gotta put that tent down, boys. A pile of waste there. That's our day. Time to put the. We gotta put the bracing up, and we're ready to cut windows. So those are our doors. Look at this. That's the plan. This is gonna go. This is gonna go at least. time we got the bracing up it's hard to tell in the camera but the wind was pretty wild this day and it's actually quite remarkable that this block doesn't blow apart easier the corners obviously are more stable than just the straight walls but at some point in this video you can see that corner right where I'm standing kind of tips in and I know it's precarious, so I started putting the bracing up. And just in time, because Matt gets up there and starts holding it, right where it's starting to tip over, right, right when I'm getting that brace there. About every afternoon, well, it seemed like just about every afternoon, we start get we get like 30 or 40 mile an hour winds up here, and it makes building pretty interesting. It's probably not every day or every afternoon. It's probably closer to maybe 35 or 40% of the time. But when you're building a house, it is certainly more than you want. I think when we live here in the summers, we'll be really grateful for that wind because it'll, it sure cools things down for you when you're working. Um, these these particular blocks, the Nudura blocks, have a clip where they they grab onto each other when you stack them. It's not just like a Lego th thing. There's a little bit of Braddock dancing in front of the camera for you if you want to go back and catch some of that. <laughs> um, but there's there's a pla on the plastic web that goes all the way from the top to the bottom that is an attachment point. Um, on both sides of the block there's 
there's a part where they grab onto each other. And so you don't have as much problems with the blocks like and other blocks sometimes they'll float when you're pouring them. By float I mean they'll come up a little bit. Um, these are grabbed on. And it's also really satisfying when you put them together. It's like you're giving your wall a chiropractic adjustment. Um, at least if it's low enough that you can put enough pressure to get them to click. And then if you mess up and have to pull it apart, you sort of have to beat on it. It's a little bit hard. You can see a little bit there, Atticus bending some rebar. He got pretty good at it later. I think I've got some video later that I'll share of him bending um, stirrups for me, rebar stirrups. Um, the engineers specified lintels over the windows and, and some um, wall piers is the what, the, what they're called. In other locations, it's just additional reinforcement um, that goes over the windows because you're essentially making a concrete beam. And then there's a lot of weight that goes on the both ends of the, of the garage door. Mark's going to show me how to siphon this water. Mark, who are you showing? I'll show mom. Hey, wait, don't suck on it, remember? <laughs> you did it! Good job! Where did you learn how to siphon that water? From Dad! You learned so good. And you didn't even suck on it, huh? Yeah. Good job. Right at the beginning of this clip, you can barely see that I set my rubber mallet right on the top of the stack and it fell down and we managed to make a lot lasso out of some string and use a piece of rebar to get the lasso around that rubber mallet and pull it out which was good because down stacking this is a pain in the neck especially since you got rebar in there tied um, <laughs> here we're, it, it was a stinking hot day, so I'm actually showing that sometimes we took a little break and sat in the shade because it was like 100 degrees plus the light reflecting off that south wall would just blast the heat from the sun right at you. My boys were sure grateful when Matt would show up because they could go play or they could hang out in the shade a little bit. They didn't have to be so directly helping. So it was, they were really, they were really grateful when that shows up. We have a tendency to give them a hard time, but I think they've really come around to be on that side. I, if the wall wasn't so tall, I would have set up my my bracing and scaffolding earlier, but because I needed my bracing up at that sixth block level, I had to wait until I'd stacked the sixth layer to put my scaffold up. Um, it's because we went, I think, eight or nine layers up, I think eight. On the next stack, we won't have to go that high, so I'll be a little bit lower. So, I, so setting up the scaffold will be easier because I won't have to be on a ladder every time I put up a brace and, and a piece of scaffolding. Something to look forward to. Um, setting up this bracing took a really long time, I felt like. I'll do another bit. The next video, I think, is going to be a bracing video.
Atticus. I just can't get into the No, don't do it. No. What do you think about today? Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to be at the end of the GoPro going. <laughs> You're setting the camera rules now? You're wrecking my thunder, bro. Wrecking your thunder? You gotta have thunder to wreck thunder. And you gotta have brains to wreck thunder. Okay, that wasn't very good. <laughs> because you said that I was wrecking your thunder. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, how far did I'm we get very today? Good at complimenting people. How far did we get today? You are good at complimenting people. We got six layers up though. We have to do the garage door. That's gonna be tricky. It's gonna take a while. Hey, you missed me. By the way, um, could, got you you now. Make, could you make a separate donate to me so that I can buy a dirt bike? It would help me do videos on Critter Boy and you would love them. Well, Critter Boy probably. Maybe it's my YouTube video that I'm starting. Maybe. Well, we got the two more layers and all the bucks in, except for the garage. And I got this bracing up. It's it's temporary until we pour, but it's only not even a little bit of the total amount of bracing we need to get. We actually don't, you can't tell, but we cleaned up in here. And then we made a mess again, huh? It's actually a lot of work. It is. Good thing you have goggles on. We haven't had dinner, huh? Yep, and it's 8.36. We better go. Well, that's our day. Everything looks really close to the camera. It will. Thank <laughs> you. 